In this video, we will take a look at how to integrate StealthWatch with Cisco DNA Center and also on how to provision our network devices with encrypted traffic analytics and network as a sensor using StealthWatch security analytics service in Cisco DNA Center. In this video, we have already installed StealthWatch security analytics in this DNA Center. These are the list of network devices, software version and license requirement which are supported for deployment of StealthWatch security analytics in our network devices using Cisco DNA Center. Let us first go ahead and integrate StealthWatch with Cisco DNA Center. To do that, navigate to System Settings, Settings, StealthWatch. Enter the IP address of StealthWatch Management Console. Once we enter the IP address of StealthWatch, we can see a small warning icon and a message which says certificate is not trusted. Click on the warning icon. We can see a checkbox. Enabling this checkbox will allow Cisco DNA Center to access StealthWatch and export the default self-signed certificate of StealthWatch and automatically import it into the trusted store of Cisco DNA Center. Next, let us enter the username and password of StealthWatch. Click on the apply button. Now that we have successfully integrated StealthWatch with Cisco DNA Center, let us go ahead and provision our network devices with StealthWatch Security Analytics. To do that, navigate to Provision, Services, StealthWatch Security Analytics. Select the site for which we would like to enable StealthWatch Security Analytics by clicking on the site card. StealthWatch Security Analytics does a series of pre-checks to make sure the network devices meet the criteria for deployment. In this video, we already had a look at the list of supported hardware, the software versions and the license requirements. One another important thing to note is the device role. If we are using a ASR or a ISR series router, then the device role should be set to border router. If we are using a 9300 or a 9400 series switches, then the device role should be set to access. Once all the pre-checks are validated, Click on Get Started. The next step is to select the StealthWatch flow collector that we wish to configure for the site. Select the IP address from the drop-down list and click on Next button. Now that we have completed all the pre-checks and also selected the flow collector which needs to be deployed on the site, we can go ahead and deploy StealthWatch security analytics for the site. This page gives us the information on list of network devices which are ready for deployment this page also gives us the information on list of network devices which are not ready for deployment and also the reason on why the network device is not ready. This page also gives us the flexibility to deploy StealthWatch security analytics now or later. In this video, we will select the option now. We will go ahead and click on the enable button to deploy StealthWatch security analytics for this site. We can view the status of our deployment from the Schedule Task tab under the Notification list. When the task is in progress, the status of the deployment is set to In Progress. We can click on the Refresh button in upper right corner of the Notification list to ensure that we are viewing the updated status. When the task is complete, the status of the deployment changes from In Progress to Success. We will now navigate back to StealthWatch Security Analytics page to check the status of the deployment. We can now see that the site card showing the status of StealthWatch Security Analytics as deployed. When we click on the site card, we can take a look at the list of network devices which have been enabled for StealthWatch Security Analytics. These are some of the commands which can be executed on the network device to validate the deployment of StealthWatch Security Analytics. This completes a successful deployment of StealthWatch Security Analytics using Cisco DNA Center. Thanks for watching.